At first glance, it appears to be big business farming. Millions of dollars in equipment raking in this year's bounty. But Cam Ferguson and his neighbors are growing this food to help Syrian refugees. It would be hard to imagine what it would be like to be hungry all the time. It's, you know, we never experienced that. And Not knowing where your next meal is going to come from? Exactly. And most people don't even think about that. We take food for granted. This community growing project is one of 30 in Saskatchewan, one of 260 across Canada. Here's how it works. Someone offers up a piece of land. Companies pitch in the seed, fertilizer and pesticides. Farmers give their time, equipment and fuel. Then they sell the wheat and donate the money. We don't uh, ship food from Canada anymore. That's what we used to do. The Canadian Food Grains Bank, run by 15 church agencies, uses the money to feed the hungry and teach conservation farming in developing countries. The tandem's full? Yeah. That's another 600. This year, the farmers are surprised by how much wheat they've grown. we got a problem. Okay. Too much grain, no place to put it. <laughs> That's a good problem. That's a good problem. This crop will sell for about $50,000. The federal government matches it $4 to one. You're looking at $250,000, uh, you know, which is a pretty phenomenal uh, amount of money to be raised by one community. In the past four years, Canadian farmers have generated $29 million to help Syrian refugees. Ron Hetland hasn't finished his own harvest, yet he's pulled two trucks and a combine out of his field. He's reluctant to talk about his contribution. Well, I think it's important that we all do our charitable deeds strictly because it's the right thing to do, not because there's some reward in it for me personally. More credit. That's why it was so hard to yeah. get you on TV. <laughs> <laughs> These guys aren't really starving, but they really like coffee when they're done. <laughs> then they take a moment to enjoy the spirit of cooperation and the satisfaction of another harvest. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, near Spalding, Saskatchewan.